Hello, I wanted to talk to you today about an investment tip that I have. Uh, this is investment tip, um, uh, most people are thinking right now about investment tips, and I'm going to give you some of my opinions on that. Um, you know, uh, maybe it's a good idea now, I think, uh, to get food. That may sound a bit extreme, but if you have any money, uh, maybe you should get more food than you usually do when you go to the grocery stores to kind of stash up a little bit of extra in case uh, some kind of a disaster hits. Um, we don't know what's going to happen, but in California there could be an earthquake, and in the Midwest there's been a lot of tornadoes and things like that. Uh, another thing might be uh, precious metals, but um, I'm not really an expert in those things, and I don't know if anybody really is um, really knows what's going on, but um, I've got a different kind of investment um, idea and that is one that is going to have um, a different kind of return if you call it, I don't even know what the terminology is, um, a different kind of reward or return that has a different term, uh, term like in, in length of time that it returns and um, also is something that has a reward that I believe is more than what you put it into it and possibly by a greater magnitude it's sort of like when you uh, you know those multi-level marketing schemes you know I'm not promoting that but you know how there's a you tell somebody about that and then someone else tells you somebody else about that and then someone else does and then you get like a certain percentage of all those people below you in that well it's sort of like that um, what it is is um, the rewards are eternal and the investment returns are more than what you deserve and what it's called is grace and eternal life and I know that sounds corny but this is serious as I can get I'm not gonna come on here and say something unless it's serious and uh, uh, the facts are that everybody that has ever lived in the past has died um, nobody's living eternally and the only person that has lived eternally and has been raised from the dead is Jesus Christ, the Son of God. And uh, so the only hope of eternal life is through Jesus Christ. Now, how do we get eternal life? Well, there's a lot of wisdom in the Bible that talks about this. And so I encourage you to read it in Scripture. But um, the main thing is that we need to hope in Jesus Christ and read, read about him in the Bible. If you've never done that, don't be intimidated. Just read it and ask God to help you with it and slowly read it and just try to understand as much as you can. Um, but um, it has the words of eternal life in there in the, in the New Testament, uh, in the Gospels, um, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And uh, some of the things, I'm going to give you a preview of some of the things that Jesus said. And this is mainly what I'm talking about is um, he said, Store your riches in heaven where the moth does not corrupt and the worm does not destroy and, you know, that you can, you're not going to, you know, the stocks aren't going to crash on you. And these things you're, are, if you trust in God, you're going to have a reward in heaven. And if, he said where your riches are is where your heart is. And he said those that love the world are enemies of God, but those that love God are friends of God. And so the way to not love the world is to store your riches in heaven. That's we, when you see eternal uh, yourself as an eternal person instead of a temporal person, then the things of these world, this world becomes insignificant. And so you're not worried about things as much. You know, and if you do worry, you can pray to God and He can show you, like, help you out. And um, so how do we store these riches? Um, well, Jesus told us to love one another and to, put, and to hope in him. Only, the only way is through Christ. And uh, because he was, he, crucified, he was crucified for us, for our sins, so that um, to make a reconciliation between us and God, because uh, we're deserving a death, all of us have sinned. And so we need to repent and turn to God. 
And it's simple as that, um, reading in the scriptures and trying to understand more about it. It's between you and God and the Bible. I can't teach you all things, only the Holy Spirit can. But if you have uh, been called of God, you'll hear what I'm saying. And um, he has changed my life. He's changed many people's lives. So if you think that you're not good enough for God, uh, think again, because he's looking for you. He's looking for people that uh, are powerless over their sin or just looking for people that don't have any any standing in this world. He wants those kind of people. Uh, that Those are the ones he's chosen. And so I'm one of those people. I'm just kind of a loser to the world. And I didn't think I could... I was that great of a person ever. But it's not me. It's not about me. It's about God and just me willing to let God work in my life. So if you have any reservations about it, you know, you want to have eternal life, but you're thinking I'm too much of a sinner or love sin too much, just um, just read the scriptures and it's going to give you the wisdom because it says faith coming comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So there's only one way because he was raised from the dead. And Jesus will come back and judge. And so he will judge all of us, Christian, non-Christian. He's not a respecter of persons. And he will establish his kingdom, come back and establish his kingdom. And there will be peace and justice, finally. So it's going to be great when he comes back. But it's not going to be not so great if we're sinning and we're not doing God's will. That's what he said. He said, when you come back, be doing my will, my Father's will. So um, read the scriptures and just think about this. Uh, stop what you're doing for a moment and just listen to the voice from above, from the Holy Spirit. Listen to God. He's calling you to repent and to turn, turn to Him and trust in Him. So that's a very simple message, you know. Uh, eternal life, we're gonna, all going to die someday, but we can have hope in eternal life. And there's no hope through anyone else because Jesus is the only one that was raised from the dead. Thank you.